We're buying the subfloor wood. So exciting, building supplies. Jacob, you're actually buying building materials right now. Like a builder of a bus. Wow, wow. Just keep walking. You're obviously not a professional yet. Twenty-two pieces. Three hundred and fifty-five dollars later, we have the wood for our subframe on the floor. What? The and bus buses right there. All right, welcome back to this brand new episode. And between last time and this time, we had a lot of new major developments. Meet Bus Boy. This is Bus Boy. He guards our bus while we're not here. He's a cone we found on the side of the street. So, since last episode, yes, a lot has gone on. We finally got the bus towed out of the backyard, but the bus did get a lot of damage during the tow. The muffler was basically crushed. The front and back bumper have a lot of denting. So we're gonna move on from that, hopefully get those repaired later and continue on with the build. So for today's objective, we're going to be framing the subfloor. We've noticed that in the community, there is what's called a floating subfloor where you don't put wood in your frame. You just put your insulation and then plywood. That's not something we feel comfortable doing. So we're gonna put the wood, insulation, and then the plywood. So that way we don't have to calculate weight distribution as heavily as before. Our bus is gonna end up having way more equal weight distribution, as well as having a lot more points that we can actually tie our furniture down to the floor and make sure everything is secure. This is a huge debate within the school community, framing or not framing your subfloor, and this is what we decided, and every bus can be built in a million different ways. This is how our schoolie build's gonna go. We're finally gonna start the build. Let's get started. So we're gonna be using four by one by tens, so they are one inch thick, and then they're going to be four inches wide, so we have more area to tie stuff down. And yeah, this is gonna be crazy. This wood is not weather treated. Uh, a lot of people suggested we obviously didn't do weather treated because they are treated with chemicals and water and it's going to be reacting with metal. So this is non-treated wood. We got all of our wood measured out. We are about to start the cutting process. Super exciting! Finally framing out this stupid floor! Yes, baby! Yes, babe! All right, here we go. Beep. 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 Coming through, coming through. Beep. Building a house. It's your first wood splinter of our build. Let's see it, let's see it. Here's a little bitty splinter. Ooh! Ah! Uh. Wow, you're a champion. Haul that wood, get that wood, go, get that wood. We got all of our wood ready. How are you feeling? Good. First one done. We're done cutting all of our horizontal pieces. Woo, they all fit, so yeah. exciting. Uh, any money no money wasted and then here's all of our scraps right here which we'll probably use to like frame out these types of boxes and this hole right here so For we're doing sure. really good babe yeah let's get everything out of the bus so we can see what it looks like all right we'll see you then now we're dealing with all the weird measurements this box over here that we got to measure out around here these pieces are over here like by the door isn't long enough as a piece of wood so we got to cut some stuff but we're going to try to use this scrap first just so that we can keep as many whole pieces together and hopefully return them save that money so we moved everything out of the bus right now so that way we can work better on framing, right babe? We have like all of these little pieces here that we need to fill in. So right now we have everything laid down that is properly cut and we're just taking measurements of these small things like this. Babe, you have my piece. Wha-bam! Thank you. Ooh. All right, so one of the only protrusions on the inside cabin of the bus is this little box right here that leads to the gas tank underneath. So we're just framing out the perimeter that we'll need for the wood. So in this back area, we had some holes back here 
and you can see that we have some screws sticking up so we had a little bit of trouble placing this wood but we just decided to cut out just where that piece is just like that so a lot of people don't think framing is even necessary but we wanted to have it so we're not too worried about this one centimeter that's not going to have the frame we're just going to build around it we also had one right here but it was an easy fit jake go ahead it was easy right what she said it was super easy <laughs> and we're going to get to screwing these down and it's exciting stuff guys exciting stuff your hair looks fabulous thank you so we're using these wood to metal screws because we are applying wood to metal. <laughs> the screws that we have here are self-tapping, which means we don't have to do a pilot hole. We shouldn't have to worry about the wood splitting because these are sharp tipped. So they can go right through our material without worries. Yeah, are you excited? We're gonna put the frame I'm in. I'm excited. Yeah, featuring my mom. Featuring your mom. Hashtag schoolie mom, hashtag Hash Jess and Jake's mom. Um, uh, this is actually what I look like. Okay. All right. All right, guys, let's get started. So what are, what are we all using today? Okay. So we got our self-tapping screws. We got our Dewalt drills. Hold on, I have a question. Is it Dewalt or is it Dewalt? Ooh. I find it to be Dewalt. 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 Right. Guys, give your answers in the comments below. <laughs> anyway, this is a 90 degree angle protractor measure device. So we're gonna be using this here, making sure everything's good. And we're gonna get this frame done doozy and we're gonna get this plywooded and we're gonna build this bus then we're gonna be on the road and you're gonna be watching us i'm highly qualified <laughs> jacob are you drilling in our holes in our bus dude did we spend two weeks filling all the holes <laughs> now you're drilling more holes to drill more holes hmm, interesting we are let's do it All right, my mom is drilling her first hole. Go, go. Woo! Wow. So all of that is pretty much done. How do you feel? It feels really good to make progress. You know, this is a project that we've had in the works for a really long time and seeing it come to fruition is really exciting. Checking that 90 degree angle, is it 90? Perfect, babe. Yeah, much better. Perfecto. That is secure. High five, bus boy. So some of you have probably seen this little circle in a lot of our videos and wonder, what is it? This access hole right here gives any service technician access to our fuel tank. We had to frame out a little square so that way we'll make sure not to cover this up for down the line whenever we have any maintenance or technical issues, we have already fabricated easy access. Go Florida fashion, it has started to rain. Rain, 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 go away, come back. Another day. It's freaking pouring! The rain has made this moment very dramatic. I'm about to initiate the last screw. Woo! Finish that frame! Finish that frame! Wow! Let's do it! Let's do it, do it, do it, do it! Whoa! The frame is Whoa. done! These are my crazy kids. They're doing a crazy bus. So today was a very successful day. We laid out the foundation of our subfloor. Shout out to Natalie. Really uh, kicked some ass today. Kicked ass. Jess and Jake's mom. Jess and Jake's mom. Hashtag 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 Jess and mom. Hashtag Jess and Jake's mom. Yes. We feel so good that we have finally started the flooring. And yeah, this is the first part of the build. So it's exciting stuff. Happy to have my mom here. Project Bus Bus. Project Bus Bus.